how are you doing? I hope you have a great day because today's the day we'll finally start assembling the engine project. Here I have most of the parts, still not all of them, just as I prepared them in the last video about Indie Mill Project. Here is a link somewhere to this video if you didn't saw it. Here I have also the screws, M3, M5 bearings and some additional random screws. Uh, I don't have still the electronics, the control board and power supply, but I have the stepper motor drivers and stepper motors. Uh, so hopefully today we'll assemble the frame, you know, connect the main parts with aluminum profiles, with linear rails and ball screws. Do you remember when I told you in the last video that those parts are prepared for the assembly? That was a lie, because I still had to tap threads in those steel parts. And right now those are almost prepared for assembly because I broke M3 tap and I still have to tap a few more holes, but those are not so crucial so we can start assembly without those and I will do this probably later. But before we start assembling, few announcements about Indie Mill project. In the description you can find industry.cc, link to the website, that's my website. I'm not sure if I can call that a company, this is more of like a project that IndieMill is connected to where I want to just continue making my projects and maybe call them the industry, the independent industry where I will share some open source projects like for example this, the IndieMill, I'm already planning to make a live project. So I will share all of that on this website and you can also sign up to the newsletter to get the latest info about the IndieMill project and also some more projects in the future, but no worries, I'm not going to spam your email. And also if you would like to support my projects, the best way to support me is to just watch my videos, subscribe to the channel, like it, you know, share it with friends, that really helps me a lot, but if you would like to support me in the other way, there is a link to my Patreon in the description. It would be really highly, highly, highly appreciated if you support my projects, because sometimes making those really costs a lot of money to buy some parts, to buy tools, and I really have a lot of projects in my mind that I would like to make, but I just don't have the right tools to make them. And that's it for the announcements. Now we can continue making this project and assembling the frame. That's the part number two of this series, if you don't remember, let's go!
Check out this small little trick that I found out with decouplers. I bought 5mm to 8mm and 5mm to 10mm, but I actually need 8mm to 10mm to attach ball screws to the stepper motors. So I can simply just disassemble those couplers and connect them like Lego bricks. So for example, here is 10mm and here is 8mm. I can combine those two and now I have the coupler that I need. You probably already can buy this kind of coupler, but if you have a bunch of these and you need to combine your own solution, you can easily do that. And here it is, the indie mill already assembled and it looks so, so good. It's also already quite heavy, but that's good for a CNC machine. And I'm just so happy with how it looks like. It was so easy to assemble compared to my other projects. And maybe that's because I spent so much time on designing this thing in Infusion 360, but it was totally worth it because the assembly process, you know, the steel plates, aluminum profiles, linear rays, ball screws, Every single screw was just pure fun to assemble. I really enjoyed the process and also there was really not a lot of talking in this video because I wanted to actually focus on doing and the assembly process. So if you have any questions, want to clarify something, ask in the description, uh, sorry, in the comments. Also, I want to clarify a few things. Firstly, the ball screws, I used this small white thing, it's actually 3D printed, to take off the ball nut from the ball screw and you actually have to use something like this uh, in order to protect the balls inside the ball nut from falling out. So always keep that in mind, I will put a link to Thingiverse, I will put that on Thingiverse and link it in the description. Second thing, here is the linear carriage, as you can see also you have balls in here. And you have to be careful, uh, because also this is really fragile, it's easy to destroy that. Always make sure to firstly put the carriage on the linear rail, like for example right here on the z-axis. Firstly put all four carriages on the linear rails and then screw the plate. Because if you will do this the other way around, first you screw that to the plate and then try to align that with the linear rails, you will easily destroy this thing. So be careful with that. And the last thing is the top plate right here. I will redesign this thing because I don't really like the way how it looks like. And I also bought the four stepper motors, the NEMA 23 stepper motors, uh, because I initially wanted to use NEMA 17 right here, but I actually thought that, you know, I can use NEMA 23, why not? And I will redesign this thing and machine it out of aluminum on the Dremel CNC. Then I will paint that and this will look exactly as it looks with the steel parts. 
there will be no difference hopefully. Why I want to redesign this thing? Because I don't have the GT2 belt that is small enough, I have the bigger belt and it's not going to fit well right here. Also a small thing that maybe someone noticed, uh, on the plates right here in the back and on this plate right here where motor is attached, you have actually holes for the NEMA 23 but you have also holes for NEMA 17 so you can actually decide if you want to use NEMA 17 or NEMA 23 and you don't have to replace those parts so you can actually use any motor you want and you can even upgrade later from NEMA 17 to NEMA 23 without changing any parts that's a really cool thing and that's it for this video we'll see what will happen in the next part where I will probably connect the electronics or actually design the PCB for this project or maybe do both, I don't know. I will also mill the part, the top plate on the Dremel CNC, so definitely subscribe and like to don't miss that. In the description you can find link to my Patreon and industry.cc if you want to support my projects, that would be really, really nice. And that's it, thanks for watching, keep making, bye.